Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Pierre Duomo, uh, a Belgian centre midfielder, attacking midfielder, 17 years old from Anderlecht. Uh, before we jump into it though, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more content like this and of course make sure you leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes and I'll be able to take a look at those guys. But it is Duomo today. Uh, like I say, 17 years old and Belgian. Uh, came through at Anderlecht, then moved to Genk. Played a couple of games there before moved to Antwerp. Hopefully he'll be starting to get a lot more game time now at Antwerp, especially with these stats that we can see in front of us. Some good, very good stats initially. Um, some lovely dribbling and first touch for 17. Uh, you've got the technique there as well as determination and flair. Bravery's in there. And the physicals aren't looking too bad. Six foot two, so he's a decent sized player. Um, could develop as a winger or a striker if you need him to, but certainly looks like a very good centre midfielder uh, already and certainly one that could develop there. Let's take a look at his current and potential ability. 96 current ability, but 158 potential shows he could be an extremely good player, but it just depends on how much he plays and how he develops. So let's jump ahead and take a look. So here we are then, 10 years on just before his 27th birthday. Um, has developed a bit more as a striker and a winger, but still very good in centre midfield. Uh, first touch improvements, technique, passing, dribbling, all looking very good still. Uh, it's a nice determination and flair. Physicals haven't improved too much, but still got a decent jumping reach on him as well. Um, made 221 appearances for Belgium, but never broke into the first team. Seems to be playing a little bit deeper as he's got the number six uh, as his number. So I'm assuming he's maybe slightly deeper in the midfield. Uh, let's take a look at his career, though, because he is currently at Union SG in Belgium. Um, made the move to Antwerp, as we know, for £1.7 million uh, before a loan move out to Petro Eisten in Pro League B didn't really do too great. Came back to Antwerp and had very, very limited game time. Uh, and then following that, got a loan to Excelsior in in Holland. A little bit more game time there, but still not great. And then a permanent move to Union SG for thirteen thousand pounds. I mean, it's an absolute bargain. Um, but he's certainly not the player you'd want to be signing earlier on in his career. That's for sure. Uh, he. He looks like he could have been so, so good. Milestones, has he won anything really? Relegated from the Eredivisie, uh, got promotion uh, with the reserve team uh, at Union SG. Um, otherwise, very limited. Did get to the under-20 World Cup runners-up. Um, so that's not bad for for. Belgium itself. Uh, personal awards though, best 11s. Uh, did get 2022 French Youth Invitational top goal, goal scorer third place. That's not bad. Um, but otherwise, just in a few best 11s. So really limiting and to be honest, quite disappointing really. Uh, and that's certainly going to be down to the fact that in seven years at Antwerp, he only played 22 games. Uh, let's have a look at his ability, current ability then. 106, so it's barely increased at all. 158 potential. I mean, it's 52 points off that. He could be so, so much better. But that's the thing. He's got to get the game time and you've got to nurture these guys. Otherwise, they're just never going to grow into those players. Um, but there you go. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next one.